previously on the dragon ship. That's a good point, because I, I, I will make the argument that the social contracts are actually based in Methusian theory, and actually we are, we are entering a potential demographic catastrophe because of the last six years of this. But we'll, well have yeah. another show. <laughs> yeah, and you see that because of, you see that why? Because mm -hmm. we look at the population rate in, in this country dropping. And that is a very horrifying, guys. That is just to sidetrack for a minute, Phil. We're going to get back to the press. Oh, this is good. We're good, bro. This is good. This is good. This, I like them this, talking. This one is a very serious disaster that almost everybody is looking the other way on. You know, uh, like him, love him, or hate him. Elon Musk is a thinker, and he thinks in such a way that it's it's easy to see and anybody that looks can see it goes against all political viewpoints right now and that's the coming demographic catastrophe and this will be a catastrophe that will rival even natural catastrophes the asteroid earthquakes and, and the reason for that is when we have seven to eight billion people we have specialized with information with technology with our social constructs in such a way that if we miss even 10 to 20 percent of any sector we don't have the ability to continue forward with that sector be it technology production energy uh or even you know making babies and that starts a cascade event imagine anybody here could you just go and build a toaster oven any man here no, no i'm just gonna be honest no you cannot can, get the knowledge break you the knowledge uh, you could buy one, but can you put it together? Can you get the coils right? Can you make no. the actual coils with the right resistance so it works with the correct frequency and, and, and uh, amplitude of current that comes into it? Could you do all those things? Could you make the connectors? This is an amazing task, but it's so easy because how we've constructed our society and how we've integrated all these things. That's just an example. Once the population gets to a certain point, we're going to be a lot of old people. And we're going to have a lot of young, we're going to have some young people that don't have babies to replace and teach these skills. I mean, look at this phone right here. The technology here is dependent 100% on us having at least a stable population in the billions. And it, without that, welcome back to barely even, you know, the 18th century, if not before. Who has the skills right now to put together? A wooden sailing ship because if we lose this skill set it's only going to take about 20 or 30 percent of the population you're going to wait for planes for days or weeks because there's only a few operating and it takes so long to get the parts constructed and we have a shortage on skilled labor now here in the west and and, um, and and it could get even so bad that you might take a ship and now that flight that took you seven hours across <laughs> the pond is going to take you two months <laughs> it's taking it take a ship <laughs> Get, drop the oars. Let's go. La laugh as you will, but population collapse is a really serious thing, and it's not looked at. There are actually countries that encourage populations to immigrate as to maintain their status of living because of the social contracts that they have in, uh, uh, put on their citizens. They're not making enough babies. You can look at my part. Anyway. Well Make sure you get your own copy of Thor's Dominant Masculine Presence Lecture. This is an hour-long lecture that teaches extremely valuable yet simple techniques that will help you to improve your Dominant Masculine Presence. You will learn how easy it is to begin building the foundation for your Masculine Presence and make yourself into a Dominant Masculine Man who knows what he wants and isn't afraid to go after it. So what are you waiting for? Buy now and start your journey and start building that dominant masculine presence and become the man that you always wanted to be.